Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about some new updates, we got some new titles, we got a new synopsis, and also we got some new news in regards to The Flash film. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, The Flash is coming back next week. It's a very exciting time to be a Flash fan because we don't have long to wait. We've waited since November, so it's about time that we get back to new episodes. And so with that in mind, we are getting more and more information about upcoming episodes. As you know, they've been filming and they are approaching their final, like, say, three to four episodes. We don't know exactly how much more they have to do. But it makes sense that we're getting promotional material in regards to new episodes. So, The Flash has officially released a new synopsis for a new episode. I think we went over the recent synopsis of episode 6, which is the premiere episode that will be airing on March 9th. And that is in its new time slot on a Wednesday. And this episode is titled Lockdown, maybe inspired by the lockdowns. And this is going to be airing on March 16th. This is episode 7 of season 8. So this is how the synopsis goes for lockdown. Sit tight. When a criminal invades the CCPD, Barry and Kramer must trust and rely on each other if they are going to make it out safely. Meanwhile, Caitlin learns a valuable lesson while out with Snow and Mark, aka Chillblane. So it's a relatively short synopsis. This is kind of your interlude episode including the one before, but however that is more related to the main story because it's Bart and Nora related and it's to do with timeline changes, probably setting up a lot of what's to come later this season because as you guys know, we had the recent Zoom and Godspeed leaks. There is definitely going to be huge timeline changes and I think it's all going to start in episode 6. So let's break down the synopsis. So a criminal invades the CCPD. Who is this criminal? Well, we saw him in recent trailers. That criminal is Goldface. He is returning and he does have an accomplice of him. I'm not sure who the accomplice is. We did see him in the trailer, so if you guys remember the trailer, you'll know what he looks like at least. However, they're there, they invade the CCPD with some sort of goal in mind. I don't know what it is. Are they trying to take someone? Are they trying to prove a point? Like, it seems in the trailer they are totally chill and they're just like, you know, holding a few people captive and Barry and it seems Kramer are going to have to trust each other to try and make it out safely and get everyone out safely and stop Goldface. So as you know, Goldface is quite controversial because he isn't one of the most beloved villains. The episode that he premiered in and I mean he's been in a couple of episodes but just the specific Amunet Black episode with him is one of like the most memed episodes ever and everyone pretty much hates him unless you just love the meme and you're like this is going to be funny that he's returning but in regards to Caitlyn she's going to be learning a valuable lesson while out with Snow and Chillblain it's interesting that they're calling Chillblain Mark I was like who is this Mark person then I saw who was playing him and I was like oh yeah it's Chillblain so yeah that's going to be interesting I don't know what type of lesson she's going to make but this definitely seems like a sort of interlude filler episode. Okay, so let's move on to the next topic. This is still in regards to The Flash Season 8. We have some new titles for four upcoming episodes. So there was previous titles that were released before, including Lockdown, which we just went over. That is episode 7. We know that episode 6 is titled Impulsive Excessive Disorder. And now they have released the titles for episode 8, 9, 10, and 11. So we're going to break them down, talk about what they could mean. So episode 8 is officially titled The Fire Next Time. So if you look at this, I think it's a pretty cool title. The Fire Next Time rolls off the tongue. However, what does next time specifically mean? It means probably something to do with the future because next time is not this time. So there is probably some sort of fire that goes down in this episode, but maybe it's in the future and maybe we'll get some time travel related things in this episode. That is just my initial thoughts as to when I first saw this. So that's what I'm sticking with. I don't have any like concrete theories, but just the idea that they say next in instead of this time probably means that it's something future related. Episode 9 is titled Phantoms. 
well, the first thing that goes into the mind is definitely the Phantoms from Supergirl, but that is definitely not going to be happening. We're not going to see the Phantoms, but Phantoms in general means basically ghosts from people's past. So is this maybe an Eddie Thorne related episode, someone who died in the past but came back due to these timeline changes? I would suggest probably is, and probably we'll see Ronnie Raymond in this episode, maybe one or the other or both of them in the same episode. But considering it's titled Phantoms, not just like Phantom, so it's plural, that means that more than two Phantoms will show up. So that's my theory as of right now, I think that is that episode. I don't have the exact specifics about what episode all the leaks in previous months came from, so that's just me speculating right now. Episode 10 is titled Reckless. I would presume this is in regards to one character's actions being reckless. It could be anyone from Team Flash. It definitely could be referring to Barry and maybe he makes a few reckless actions. But the first thing that does come to mind is the fact of all these timeline changes. Like what happens if Barry time travels again in this episode and he's reckless? Similar to how Bart and Nora were reckless and we'll see that in episode 6 with them time traveling all over the place and causing all of these retcons and you know the timeline changing as a whole so i feel like this is the big theme about what these titles are referring to you know phantoms from the past the fire next time reckless i feel that it's all related in some way so episode 11 the final title that they've released is titled resurrection so again like phantoms this is related to resurrecting dead people so bringing back people from the past so again this could be a Ronnie Raymond Eddie Thorne episode as of right now we know that Eddie is going to be in at least three episodes what the quote was and I think Ronnie is going to be in two episodes so I would presume maybe Eddie is in like three episodes in a row or maybe like he comes back for a couple of episodes after episode six because we presume he shows up in episode 6 because it looked like he was in the same shot as Bart and Nora when they went back in time at one point. So I would say probably Resurrection is in regards to those two characters, but I guess there's always the chance that it could refer to someone else. But those are my theories for now. Let me know down in the comments below what do you think about all of this. Okay, so this is a very interesting leak in regards to the Flash film. And so they just released this and Obviously, it's leaked by a stunt team person, but basically, it's a t-shirt for the Flash stunt team who worked on the film. And as you know, they always do some sort of like specialized t-shirt or specialized thing. And so in this case, we have three figures here. So we have a bat, which symbolizes Batman, which symbolizes Michael Keaton. We have Supergirl, who is featured quite heavily. So. You can infer from that she's going to play a big part in this film. And that is definitely Sasha Calais Supergirl because you can tell by her haircut and just the way that it looks. It's not Melissa's Supergirl. And mysteriously, there is a figure that looks like the Black Flash. It doesn't look like Reverse Flash or anything. Could this be actually Black Flash showing up in the Flash film? What do you guys think about that? That would be really interesting and a great twist on Flashpoint because we all expect Reverse Flash to be the villain but then there was speculation that maybe he wouldn't show up and it would be someone else but if it was anyone else I would be more than happy at being Black Flash. Now I don't know what their explanation would be for Black Flash being the villain and why he's around. Was he say like in the TV show Zoom from the past or Reverse Flash from the past who had died, that would definitely be interesting if it say was Reverse Flash, he died and then he comes back as Black Flash and plagues the Flash because of all of his timeline changes. If you guys have watched the Flash TV show, you know that Black Flash and the time race from the Speed Force come and chase after aberrations and sort of people that mess with the timeline. That's why Zoom was taken away by the time race in The Flash Season 2. So what happens if Reverse Flash has messed with the timeline so many times that he becomes Black Flash and is ordered to go after Barry because Barry has changed the timeline once again, it seems, where you're seeing like alternate versions of Batman, you're seeing alternate versions of The Flash. Like there's two Ezra Millers in one of the trailer shots and we're probably going to get cameos from like Grant Gustin's Flash, potentially Melissa's Supergirl, 
that could definitely, definitely happen. And so it really does make sense that they would have Black Flash, but it would definitely be an interesting twist. And the final twist of this t-shirt is the fact that the Flash's logo is not the Flash film logo, which I have to emphasize has been around for a long time. They've had that logo since before they started production. So they would have had the ability to put that on the t-shirts or hoodies that they plan to make but instead they have the Flash TV logo as the Flash logo for the stunt team. So what does this mean? Does this confirm Grant Gustin showing up in the Flash film? I don't know if it was a simple mistake, maybe it was just one of the stunt team, they typed in the Flash logo online, and maybe they got some silhouettes that they just quickly made up and they were like, okay, we'll give this to the graphic designer, they'll make it for all of you guys in the stunt team. And so they just found the Flash logo and used it. But I would say the illustrations of Black Flash and Supergirl and Batwoman are quite specific. I don't think like a random stunt person made them. I'm pretty sure they hired or got someone on the art department to make it for them. So I find it hard to believe that this is like just them making a mistake. So do you guys think this has a greater meaning? I definitely think the Black Flash inclusion has a greater meaning in regards to him potentially being the villain of the Flash film. And then also Supergirl being there, she's gonna be prominent. Batman's going to be prominent, obviously Michael Keaton's Batman, it seems is going to be a big part of the future of the DCEU, he's been posting lots of stuff, we've seen loads of set photos from the Batgirl film that Michael Keaton's going to be returning and he's going to be playing a big role in that, and then finally the Flash TV logo being the logo of this, like it's crazy, I have no idea what's going on but I'm super intrigued and I can't wait to see the film. So what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited for the Flash film? Are you excited for the Flash season eight, which we both talked about in this video? But for now, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.